The King now is using Kobe Bryant's old locker. Interesting yeah. at Staples Center. After Kobe did give him his blessing, though, so I want you to know that. Uh, Max, what will it take for LeBron to get to Kobe level in Los Angeles? That's not going to be easy because Kobe fans know what they saw. Kobe Bryant was better than Jordan at an early age, right? And so these, so these fans were like, he's going to be the greatest player of all time. And it didn't quite work out that way. Kobe was basically Jordan, basically the same game. Basically the same size, played the same position, almost the same results. There's not much difference, but Jordan was a little bit better. And so Kobe fans cling to this idea that, no, actually, Kobe's the greatest of all time, and they come up with all kind of convoluted arguments to try to push him ahead of Jordan. He's not going to get there. The numbers weren't as good. The, the eyewitness accounts were not as awe-inspiring, and the championships were a little bit short, but almost there. What it's going to take for LeBron, Stephen A., is for Lakers fans to be able to make the argument that LeBron James is the greatest player of all time. In order to do that, LeBron is going to have to win at least two championships with the Lakers while being among the best handful of players in basketball. If LeBron can do that, especially if he stays number one and wins a couple of championships, Lakers fans who are now Kobe's fans are going to think, wait a minute, we can make the argument for this guy. And they will give him the kind of love that Kobe now receives. First of all... <clears throat> Kobe was never better than Michael Jordan. Let me get that out the way, but I'm not going to debate it. That's another day. We've got. Plenty. I didn't say we've he got, was. We've got all, I'm talking about you said at the beginning of his career, you know, the early stages. I'm just saying I, I never saw that. But we could discuss that as the season progresses. What I will tell you is this. LeBron James, short of him winning four championships in all four years that he's in Los Angeles, which will not happen, you'll never be Kobe Bryant in L.A. You will never be Kobe Bryant in L.A. See, it's not just about Kobe, the basketball player. It's about the Kobe Bryant that essentially ran off Shaquille O'Neal and ultimately still delivered on three consecutive trips to the finals and two and back-to-back -back titles after Shaquille O'Neal departed from L.A. Because at the time that Kobe Bryant, let me tell you something. Here was the situation. And you know this because you was doing afternoon drive with radio at 710 ESPN L.A., where my radio show is in L.A. now nationwide. Here's the deal. When you look at Dr. Jerry Buss, the late Dr. Jerry Buss, God rest his soul, he basically went to Kobe months in advance, months in advance, told him this show is going to be yours because Shaquille O'Neal was looking to get paid over $100 million. At that time, that was a big deal because owners weren't trying to give up that amount of cash. Now, ultimately, it happened with LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh in Miami, but, mo but, 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 but prior to that, Owners weren't trying to hear all that, not in the early 2000s, 2003, 2004. So Dr. Jerry Buss wasn't trying to do that. So Kobe Bryant knew months in advance that Dr. Buss was going to move. How do I know this? If you recall, Shaquille O'Neal gave his, own, his, his uh, Hall of Fame speech. What does Shaquille O'Neal say? He sat up there and he said, I want to thank Steve Kerr for letting me know, you know, that I was going to be traded every other time I heard it from loud-ass Stephen A. Smith. That's what he said in his Hall of Fame speech. Because I told Shaq, months in advance, you out of here. Like, what? I said, it's a wrap. You're done. Don't ask me how I know, and it certainly wasn't Kobe who told me, but I knew Shaquille O'Neal was gone, okay? I didn't know he was going to go to Miami, but you knew Dr. Buss was doing it. He was going to hand the reins over to Kobe. So Kobe, knowing all of that and still doing what he did on the basketball court, because folks wanted to do something to but Kobe. But there's Some another component to it real quick. To Kobe, but he ended up shining in spite of it. LeBron can't eclipse that. Do no fault of LeBron. Well, well no, he, he can't could. eclipse no, no, that. Listen, listen. Elgin Baylor was a spectacular player, no championships. Jerry West was a spectacular player, also not a lot of championships, one a lot championship. of losing. One. Right, one championship. One championship. Um, Wilt was a giant, and usually giants don't get the love that the smaller guys get. Because he kept losing get. to Bill Russell. Right, Go ahead. And, and also was past right. his prime by the time he got sure. to the Lakers. Right. Kareem, again, a giant. They don't kind of excite the kids the way the smaller players do. I Same thing with Shaq. Mm -hmm. Magic and Kobe, mm -hmm. five champions. Championships mm -hmm. apiece, lifelong mm -hmm. Lakers. They have the most love. But what if LeBron mm. resurrects the franchise? Stephen A., what if, what if after he retires, he leads an ownership group that purchases the Lakers from the Bus family, something like that, or, or buys in? Or, and LeBron, on an ongoing basis, becomes the face of the, the question, Lakers. The question is not whether or not LeBron is going to be loved. Anybody with a, a modicum of intelligence will love LeBron in L.A. You should be very grateful for him, to him for coming to L.A. What I'm talking about is we're comparing it to the love Kobe has earned. It's be you tough. Also, and you also have to remember this. We talk about Shaq in terms of size and all of this stuff. He's a Goliath or whatever. 
Shaq is also Shaq of Claus. Yeah. He's also no that doubt. guy that gave to the community big time in L.A. When Kobe, when Shaq was gone, there, I'm telling you what I know. I'm from the streets. I'm telling you what I know. There were people who wanted and were plotting to do harm to Kobe. And it was Shaq that was like, nah. Of course. You ain't no way in hell that's happening. Shaq also has a superstar so, personality. So, so, he has a superstar yep. personality, great with the community, ingratiated himself with all of that, not just the most dominant big men of the era. All of that was working against Kobe, and Kobe overcame it if and Le won championships. If LeBron, LeBron can't eclipse If LeBron that remains the best player straight. in the game, wins <laughs> a couple more, straight. and puts himself in the kind of argument against Jordan where people in L.A. can credibly make the claim that replaced Michael Jordan. It, it, he it, replaced it, it, Michael it, it, Jordan as the greatest listen, of all time. Listen, he, he will he, get Kobe-level love. Kobe listen, magic. Because magic not, is loved not, at least not, as much not, as Kobe. Not Kobe-level love. love. Just because of longevity no, alone. Oh, yeah, in yeah, terms yeah, no, no, of Kobe well, being there. Well, we're not talking with Kobe about just longevity. We're talking about Kobe in terms of production. That's five oh, rings. And peak. Okay. So the, 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 also, the, the, also, let's not forget, Kobe at his peak, You, it's hard to remember how great he was yeah. without looking right at it. He, at his peak, he was like, you know, a the generational. The only reason we don't talk about Kobe more in that regard is because he played the same position and played so right. much like Michael Jordan. Right. If it was not for that, mm -hmm. we'd be talking about Kobe instead of MJ. Yeah. He took number 24. Had he turned out to be 24, we'd be talking about him even more. He was 22. Jordan was 23. He was 22. And so he doesn't quite get the love that, in fact, he deserves from, from basketball fans who aren't Lakers fans. He's an assassin, the Black Mamba.